I'm Sienna Bowles. Welcome to my channel, Learning Bell's Life. Today, we are going to talk about algebra linear equation. Let's take a look at today's song. A man swimming in a river finds that it takes him four times as long to swim one kilometer upstream as it does to swim back. The river flows at 1.5 kilometers per hour, assuming that the man can swim x kilometers per hour in still water, form an equation, and find x. Over here, first we have to understand what they want to mean by upstream and does it swim back. That means downstream, the opposite of upstream. Like if we take, for example, the speed we have considered as x kilometers per hour, we are assuming that as the speed of the man in still water, it means the water has no current of its own, just the man's speed. But over here, the river has its own current that has a speed of 1.5 kilometers per hour. Over here, upstream means the current is going against the man. So that means the man's speed is going to reduce. And in case of downstream, which is like how it's swimming back, that is downstream, it's going along with the speed of the man. The current is boosting the man's speed. So there it gets added up. Accordingly, let's do this sum. So the man's speed is x kilometers per hour, x kilometers per hour in still water. Now, the, the mode of the equation is the time. Over here, it takes four times as long to swim back, to swim up one kilometer up, upstream as it does to swim back. That means downstream is faster over here. The speed of the man, ultimate speed downstream, is actually x plus 1.5 kilometers per hour. That is, in words, the speed of the man in still water plus the speed of the river current, the river's water current, that is downstream speed. And the upstream is opposite, that is, the speed of the man minus 1.5, that is, the speed of the river, kilometers per hour. Now, with these two pieces of information, we can frame the equation. That is, here we have to frame the equation using time. This, the formula of time is distance by speed. Distance by speed is equal to time. Then accordingly, let's substitute it. Here, the distance is given as one kilometer. Then let's do that. Or... We can write this as 1 by over here the speed, let's take the downstream one, x plus 1.5 equal to 4 times how long it takes to go, how long it takes to swim back. That means over here, sorry, we have to this is upstream, and over here we take the downstream. Then let's solve this equation. Or equal to, let's take that into the denominator. Then moving on to the rest of our equation, we get doing cross multiplication, we have 4 into x minus. 1.5 the whole equal to x plus 1.5 simple or opening up the bracket and distributing the multiplication we get 4x minus now mentally let's do 15 fourths or 60 that means one more decimal point 6 equal to x plus 1.5 or now we do a transposition, take the x terms together and the constant and decimal together. And we get 4x minus x equal to 1.5 plus 6. Or 
3x equal to, this can be done, that's like 7.5, or x equal to 7.5 by 3. Let's do it mentally. 2.5. That means they have asked the value of x. That means we don't have to write any word answer over here, just the value of x. Therefore, x equal to 2.5. This is our final answer. Now you may take a look at the board. Hope you enjoyed this episode and please like, share, and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.